take refuge in the Dharma and the wisdom teachings of all the ages. Sometimes we think that our life is about having enough will and doing what is our mind says is reasonable. And I don't think life is about will and reason. There is a place for it, of course, it's a place for everything. But the heart has motivations that the mind can't really comprehend. Our rational mind is a wonderful tool, but that information processing system is actually fairly small. I often think about fleas, and I think, how much understanding of the universe does the flea have? And then I think, well, how are we different from that? If you look at the size of the universe and the size of our little cognitive capacity, what can we really understand? So most of what we're actually understanding is we're actually looking at our own information processing system and understanding the nature of our own mind, what that mind can see, how that mind puts together. And of course that's vast in itself. But there's a movement that happens that's inchoate. There's a movement that happens that is before reason, before will. So our life is, if our life is a matter of will, then we tend to turn things into objects. We tend to turn the immeasurables, loving kindness, sympathetic joy, compassion, equanimity, we tend to turn them into things. And I'll do the thing. I'll do the thing and I'll get the thing right with my own will and my own intention. And once I get it right with my own will and my own intention, I and other people will benefit. You yeah. know, there's some truth there. But the four immeasurables and our life's purpose is not just a matter of will. It's really um, partly a matter of deep faith. Deep faith that something is coming forward which I can't comprehend the whole of it. And all I can do is express this part of it. And in a way we can say, Expressing the part that we can express is perfection itself. That the, the idea of there is a perfect expression, the idea of perfection, works against the goodness. So from this perspective, 40% is 100%. If we are 40% allowing the inchoate truth of the universe to come through this broken, inadequate information processing system we have, that's great. It's a hundred percent. And then we're not machines, because machines need technicians. Then we're a conduit. And a conduit allows the universal to move through. And then, when we encounter the challenges of our life, if that conduit is open, it becomes all the stronger. If that conduit is cloudy and occluded and um, filled with detritus, then our faith becomes less and less. And the challenges of life become more and more corrosive. So our task is to keep the conduit wide open in our own inadequate, imperfect way. And to allow what needs to come through this particular life to come through this life. And that's something beyond will. That's something beyond whether we happen to feel good or bad on a particular day. It's something beyond whether our circumstances are propitious or difficult. So, may you have this kind of deep faith that our responsibility is to keep the channel wide open. And it can't be done with will. It has to be done with attention. It has to be done with the heart. It has to be done with letting go. It has to be done with 
kind of satisfaction has to be done with presence. So may we all know the joy that comes with that kind of growth, that kind of life, that kind of will. <laughs>